Hello, I'm Rebecca Jeffrey, and I am a mum. Mum. A business owner. A business owner. A freelance copywriter. A freelance copywriter. I was a candidate on The Apprentice. The Apprentice. And I am also a Nottingham University graduate. Graduate. Brilliant. The lovely people at Nottingham University have asked me to put together a day in the life of. So that's what we're going to do. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Mummy. Time to get up. No, oh, okay. And my morning normally consists of lots of running up and down stairs because I forgot to get things. <gasps> Ollie, you need to brush your teeth. Yeah. Come on, back upstairs. Come on. Not brushed our teeth. And then there's always the mental bit where you've got to get everyone's shoes on. And you've got a dog who wants to come for a walk. Um, so. And you've got a dog who wants to walk and jiggle and all the other Right, jacket. Come back, please. And then we're walking. And where are we going, Oles? Um, to my childminders. Ah, to his childminders. Um, Ollie goes to a childminder from 9 o'clock until about 12 when he goes to his nursery. And we normally walk and we normally bring the dog. After I've dropped off Ollie and normally take my dog for a little walk around the park, it um, gives me like 10 minutes to think about what I've got to do in my day before I pick up Ollie again. And here I am. I'm at home. It's currently quarter to 10 and I'm ready to start my work day. My work day is pretty much in my house. So I don't work in an office. I work at home and I have worked at home now for three years since I started my business. All I really need to do my job is my laptop, that's my shelves behind me, which have some of my files in them, and my to-do list. I'm a real list maker, so that is pretty much my plan of what I've got on for the week. So usually around this time of day, I'll sit down, I'll have a very important cup of tea. I will look at what I've got on for today, look at what I've got on for the week, look at what I've got on for the next few weeks, make sure I've got all my emails up to date, and I usually Skype call my sister Fee, who I run my business with, so maybe we should do that. And this is Fee. Say hi, Fee. Hello. <laughs> so I live in Manchester and Fee lives over in Halifax, which means we don't actually have an office or sit together at all. So this is how we communicate every day. We generally do, don't we? Yeah, we use this. I think of it as like looking up from your desk to ask your colleague, friend a question. So instead of looking up from my desk, I actually just hit the Skype button and we call each other a million times a day about really inane things. Sometimes <laughs> about work also. Sometimes we just talk about our children or life or work. Yeah, tea, a bit. Or tea or the rain, the weather. But no, it's a really good way of talking to people when they're obviously half an hour to an hour to the other side of the world away. I agree. Fee, do you want to tell them what you do in our little business? Yes, I'm like the design person of Fee and Beck's design and marketing. So I do all the things design wise. So I design logos and branding and websites and flyers and brochures and product design and packaging and anything anyone rings or emails me to ask their help with. I endeavor my best to design them something really lovely and to the brief. And we work with, okay. we've been going for three years and we now have 120 clients. I don't know. I have never counted You're not them. counted. Fee, it's 120. And um, I have a lot of folders on my computer. You do have a lot of folders. <laughs> yes. So you've just heard a little bit about what Fee does in our business. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about what I do. In our business, I am the marketing and the copywriting brain. So not everyone really necessarily knows what copywriting is. So I thought I'd give you a bit of an explanation of what it is I actually do every day. So when you go onto a website or you read a brochure or you get a mailer through your door or you see an advert out on a billboard, that'll have text on it that's probably been written by a copywriter. So my job every day is to write wording for clients. That can be things like a client like Matalan, who I work with a lot, sending me a brief for their latest brochure and needing all of the headlines and the wording written. Or it can be writing a 120 page website, literally looking at every single page and what words need to go onto that page. That's my job, that's my skill. Um, my background is in marketing and I did a degree in American and Canadian studies at Nottingham University. And a lot of my degree was reading and writing essays. And I always think that that's the reason why I am a copywriter now, because I spent so many years 
writing essays and having to um, read research documents and having to read novels. I love writing. It's one of my passions. And when we started our business and we realised that there was a need for really good, really well written content that was engaging and fun and conversational and professional, that's what I ended up offering. So I kind of almost fell into copywriting because of my natural inclination to love to write, but also because it's a really important um, area that businesses are needing a lot more of. Everyone's heard about content marketing. Content's very, very important. And to write good content, you often need good copywriters. That's what I do. So now it is one o'clock, which means I've got a couple of hours before I go and pick my little boy up from nursery. Um, and I've actually got a meeting with a client, so I thought I'd take you along with me. Let's go. So this client that we're going to see are a local beauty salon. They're absolutely lovely and I've been working with them for a little while. Um, by the time that meeting's over, it'll be nearing three o'clock, which is the time that I pick up my little boy from nursery. Um, and so ends the first working part of my day. Um, both my sister and I split our working day into two parts. The early part, nine till three, where we work in the daytime, um, pick up our kids, play with them, give them tea, get them to bed, and then we work usually from 7.30 till 10 o'clock at night as well. Just to give you an understanding of uh, our slightly different working hours. Right, we're here. Hi, here we are at Face Values. Give them a wave, Lynn. Hi. <laughs> right, well, we're gonna get to work, so um, see you in a minute, bye. Right, well I've picked up Ollie and he's in the living room. I'm just gonna make him a snack and obviously make myself a cup of tea. Hello, it's 7.45. My little boy's tucked up in bed and I'm back at work. You may notice some subtle differences though. Rather than a cup of tea, I have a glass of wine. The lighting is dimmed and I have some music on. In truth, working in the evening is totally fine, but you have to make it feel a bit different to what you were doing in the daytime, so that it doesn't feel kind of rubbish to come downstairs and start work again. One of the good tactics that me and my sister do is that we make sure the work we're doing in the evening is easier work than we've done in the daytime. Earlier on today, I was doing real copywriting where I really had to think and concentrate on what I was doing. In the evening, I tend to do things where um, I can be a bit more creative, like build a website. Especially if the website designer feels already signed off and I've already got the copy written, I can then carry on building the website while I drink wine, while I watch TV, or while I listen to music. So that's what I do now. Work day over. I'm now going to put on the TV, drink some more wine, and then go to bed. So that's it.